Oh, look, you guys, how lovely it is today. Hopefully the it's not too bright. I just thought I'd start today's video as I've been trying to do with sharing bits of the view or just what's going on out here. And uh, it looks like our neighbors are, and they're actually the neighbor's kids. It's sort of like their group of teens out here on the local ledge who are just summer residents are heading out for some fun tubing or something. But oh, it's such a lovely day. The clouds are so nice. Let me see if I can adjust the camera one second. I think that's much better. I'm not sure if you can see. I just wanted you to see how beautiful that cloud is in the sky in the distance. Hopefully it's showing up. It's hard to tell because it's so bright and I have my sunglasses on. But I think I might need to do a painting with that in there. Um, but just a quick sharing. Uh, it's a lovely summer day. Oh, there's some people going out in their kayak. Some more people on kayaks Some people on longboards. It's funny, um, most of the year, it's completely quiet and dead out here. We're one of like about two people who stay here year round. Although I do like to get away to the UK sometimes, but not this year. But in the summer, uh, everyone opens their houses up and uh, August is one of the busiest months. So yeah, it's just a lovely way to start out today. And I thought it would be fun to uh, have today just show you the all the uh, traffic going out here on our little private harbor and the beautiful, beautiful sky. Oh, I really hope it's picking up those clouds. I love when they're like that and they just hang in the sky. They almost look like a pantomime clouds or something in a theater. Okay, well, let's get today's video. Well, today we are going to be making a sort of at-home cafe, or at least a section of that. I really miss having um, the ability to go to cafes, and since we're still in um, lockdown and things, uh, I felt, why not just make it one at home. So now the area of the kitchen where I had uh, moved the desk in my last video or my previous video, um, I'm taking that area and moving this uh, soft chair here over to that corner. Uh, here I used to keep a little hard, uh, besides the desk, I used to keep a, a table and chair here to sit. But now I'm uh, just sweeping out the area and preparing it because I think this is actually going to be a great little spot to have a low chair like my flame stitch chair here is quite comfortable. And it's going to be a good spot and in the summer as the sun shifts this area is very warm and uh, lots of light so it'll be a great spot to sit and uh, to the uh, right of where I'm standing is our kitchen so I'll have a little cafe set up there with a coffee and uh, whatever little things I want to replace not having a cafe so that is going to be the new little cafe corner and I thought I might as well add some of my other artwork and this is a an old piece I'd made during my printmaking days, which I will share someday in the future. So it'll be fun to just decorate and paint here in the future. But for now, uh, that's enough. So let's get to today's art. So today I'm doing another printmaking with my jelly plate. I thought today I would do uh, shades of uh, pink and sand because uh, I wanted to use an oyster shell I had found on the beach this morning. So I'm just putting some simple acrylic down, giving a touch of green and a little taste of white and then rolling that out making it somewhat thick because I'm going to be using a tool that I, I actually love using this tool it has a uh, you can use quite a few sides of it to make different patterns but if you take the main piece of it and rock it back and forth it will make a faux wood grain oh and this is just some acrylic inks I have a, a collection of cr acrylic inks that are really fun to use and sometimes putting them on the plate gives kind of a, a nice little effect so this uh, tool here simply by rocking it forward or backward gives different types of striations making a, a faux wood grain which I thought would just be kind of a fun background as right now I'm just basically playing with backgrounds now as this will be the first pass this imprint here um, is going to receive one of my um, drawings which I'll show you uh, that I played with um, on in Photoshop to add color and mix it up sort of pop art so I'm putting a little bit of extra paint here down in this corner because that's where I'm going to be placing the oyster shell and by having a glob of paint there when I do the first pass of this print by pressing down the cardstock here that will pick up all the paint well most of the paint off of the jelly plate but what is underneath the oyster shell will not get picked up but it will get pressed down and so the um, detail of the oyster shell will remain on the plate and that's when I will do the second pass. So um, I hope this is of interest. Uh, I just, as I said, I used to be a printmaker, so um, I used to use big tools, big printing presses, and more silk screening. But I'm really enjoying just small scale printing with my jelly plate from my digital works. Um, again, ma living small in a large space is sort of my uh, my plan as of now. So this kind of fits with that. So here you can see in that corner, 
the the uh, negative space is left from where the the oyster shell was. So now let me pick up the oyster shell, and now the detail from me pressing that oyster shell into this gelatin plate is now there. And because the jelly plate is clear, I can set down the first pass of the print, turn my jelly plate over, and simply align that bit of oyster shell in that spot. I could have even wiped down some of the other um, ink so it didn't smear on my um, other area of my faux wood grain, but I, I kind of thought it was... Uh, was kind of the look I was going for, and I'm going to go over it with like a little, uh, I have this other technique sometimes where I'll take a plastic bag, and uh, just dabbing that in some of the thicker spots sort of gives it um, kind of a movement, almost feels very much like sand and sea, and since I'm all about sand and sea, <laughs> I figure that's a, a good little theory. So there's the second pass of that print, and you can see the detail of the oyster shell down in the corner there. And then let me grab a plastic bag, and I will simply dab along this thick area here and if you press down and then kind of pick up quickly it just kind of moves the ink and the, or the paint in a fun way giving it kind of like a bubble and a movement as if uh, reminiscent of the sea. Now the next phase I actually meant to um, film both sections but unfortunately I only filmed the second section. The next printing that I do is actually two processes. Um, I'm doing this process now where I told you where I print on this piece of acetate from my digital drawings and first I lay down the color which is um, of this uh, pug you're about to see um, and then the second pass which is the one I actually remember to film is the just the the black outline and again it's just ink sitting on acetate and from my printer and because it sits on the surface of the, pl the plastic it presses down and there you have a one-off print. Well that's going to do it for us today. I hope you enjoyed watching me push a chair across a room and all the other random things I did to make our little cafe corner. In fact, I don't know why I'm not sitting in the cafe corner to film this ending, but whatever. Uh, I thought it was, uh, I think it would be fun to have that space. Uh, like I said, I wish the windows were clear and a little bit uh, easier to see out, but we will replace those one day when we can afford it. Just more things always come up, like having to have the water fixed and things like that, getting the heat looked at. But one day we'll replace the uh, the windows and make it nicer. But now I'm excited to have a new cafe place for us to sit and visit and we can talk about art or it's actually going to be a good spot for me to use my small digital tablet to sketch and plan uh, my next art piece. So all right well thanks for joining me here today. I hope you enjoyed uh, another day here at An Artist's Life and uh, time for coffee. Actually secretly it's tea. <laughs> so I will see you next time and uh, remember to stay creative. Cheers.